Hi guys, Cautious Pancake here, and in today's video, I'm going to playtest my first custom POI, which is this Aquatic Center. So let's dive right in and get to it. Okay, here we are in the prefab editor running the playtest. Let's talk to the trader first, and we'll grab the no fetch and clear mission. Next, I'll just use this loot crate, and we'll grab ourselves a pistol, the helmet so we've got some light, a bit of ammo, and then the melee loadout so that we can get our melee weapon. May as well throw these on while I'm here. And we'd probably also better get an axe for any crates that we need. Now that that's done, let's head over to the quest marker, which is a bit of a trek. While we're doing that, I want to shout out to Not A Gamer Gaming who put out some awesome tutorials on POI creation and the prefab editor, which was a big help as I've been learning how to use the editor from scratch this last couple of weeks. I'll put a link in the description below to their prefab editor series in case you're interested. All right, we've made it out front finally to the entrance, and it's a bit planned out here, if I'm honest. I mean, we've got the Aquatic Center sign, but apart from that, it needs some planter boxes or a car park or something, I reckon. Starting up the quest, let's head on inside and see what we've got. We've woken up at least a few. Take care of them. At least I would if I could shoot. Let's switch to our sledge. Yeah, cop that. Alright, let's head inside. And since I don't like the door, we'll uh, smash our way in. How about that? A couple of things to note while we do some looting. The roof. I'm not a fan on how the roof turns out. And a tip for anyone else out there building their own large structure POIs, work out your roof and stability first if you can. I built from the ground up, starting with the pool, and this resulted in these ugly pillars that we see around the outside of the pool. I did like how these starting blocks turned out though. Whew. Also, as a POI, the Aquatic Center isn't the best selection in hindsight. There's lots of open empty space, which goes somewhat against what Seven Days is about, where most raids are normally small, tight rooms, putting you face to face with the zombies. So maybe a nice change of pace, but, you know, we'll see. Heading over here where there's obviously a few more zombies, I think we've got one up here on the diving board. This is the one meter diving board. Three meters are over there, and got someone else hanging out. Oh, thought I had that. Apparently not. Someone else is having a bang. You go down. Let's find out who looks up here. Yeah. We'll head up to the 10 meter diving platform. Grab this loot while we're here. There's a bit of lag. Might as well take a bit of a leap. One more thing while we try and swim over to the edge here is Aquatic Center is a bit of a bland name. A lot of the POIs in 17th that I have, you know, cool and clever names. So if you do think of what a better name or a clever in theme of Seven Days to Die world kind of name might be, then please give me a shout out in the comments below. And we'll look at renaming this thing from the old boring aquatic center. Looks like some guys hanging out in the janitor's closet. Don't know what you two guys were doing in there. Don't know what you're going to be doing in there when you're a zombie, but let's take care of you. There we go. Grab a bit of loot while we're here. Haven't seen the fetch quest yet. I'm sure that'll be around here somewhere. I'm going to skip that ATM since we've got a couple of lockpicks, but probably not that many. Let's head on down here to where we've woken a few people. Oh, jeez. Get stuffed. You go squish. I said, you go squish. Down here with the water treatment works. Someone else down here with us as well. Alright, nope. Get that. There we go. Coming okay, a kip behind the. That's where the maintenance workers obviously have a bit of a relax during the day. Got their books, rubbish, stuck on the coffee table. Coffee. 
Why not? Thank you very much. Anything good here? Acid? Take it all. Anyway, moving right along. Let's see what's down the rest of this corridor. Someone's awake. We've got a crispy. We've got a lot of crispies. I think we might switch over to the pistol and shoot around the zombies. There we go. So someone left the uh, sauna up a little bit higher from the looks of things and crispied all these zombies, but left the wood panelling intact. Have a bit of water to cool off and head on down. Obviously not very stealthy. I think on these playtests you are you're playing as a level one, so we're waking everything up as we go through. Here in the bathroom. Oops, two more. There you go. Nope. <laughs> Calling it way too early on the uh, kills. Obviously, you can loot the bathrooms if you want. Check that one, it's fine. Nothing good. Alright, let's head on. Into the men's bathroom, I think that was. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Bloody crawlers. Yep, so we did start at level 1 because we just leveled up. Okay. Bathroom clear. Still nothing good. Alright, moving on. Oop. Missed all the lockers before. I won't take that because we've already got the mining helmet. Why not? Wear that one. Nothing good. Got some boots. Chuck them on. And a cap we also won't wear. Alright. There's another vending machine down here. This one's operational, but we've got no money, so there's also a door here. With a ladder to somewhere. Nice spiral staircase. Ah, so now we're up on top of the landing, just over where we started. Which again, not a huge fan of how bland this is up here. We need to put, I think, a little bit more decoration, maybe a survivor little camp. Someone camped out there maybe with a deck chair, a bit of ammo, taking pot shots. Otherwise, run around here. There's a couple of ways you can access the roof. You can take the ladder or just jump across there. The vulture I can see. Other guy here, and I think we've woken up everybody. Squish you. Yep, there we go. Oh no, apparently there's one zombie still in there. Oh, and another mo over here. You go die. It looks like the fetch loot and the final zombies are down here, judging from the markers. There's the loot. Work somebody. <laughs> no, you can't swing a sledge that far. Uh, anyway, there's somebody else. Oh, there he is. Head stuck out. Not sure 
sure that's exactly how he's supposed to spawn, but anyway. I think I might have the wrong sleeper spawn there. The vulture and woke one of them. Lumberjack. Here comes everybody else. Ah, cop goes boom. And we're done. Zombies cleared. Let's have a quick look at the loot. I'll set this as a, a tier 2 raid. I don't know what you guys think, whether that's too easy or too hard. There's a fair few zombies, but there's a lot of space, so you usually have time to back off if you want to. One of the things that I did struggle with on the, on the design and build of this is the sort of extra double walls that are used in a lot of the other POIs to, to give the zombies somewhere to smash out from or crash down through the roof. I feel like that's something that the main big area needs, especially. Come on, lockpick. Oh, we've got one left. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Anything good? Ooh, nice recipe. Bit of a bat and a bit of ammo. Anyway, there's also a nice quick e exit down. That's jumping straight in the pool. So that you don't have to run all the way down the stairs or risk a broken leg. It's just a nice quick little exit so that you can get on with your day. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little playtest. Don't forget, if you've got a better name than Aquatic Center, please let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please drop me a like and subscribe. Thanks a ton for watching and have a great day.